Low CD is an interlude for the player between acquiring uh, a case and gathering information and actually entering a virtual world. So on the one hand it's just a stop, but on the other it's a very prominent cyberpunk icon, how the Low City uh, looks like. For a game deck, Low City is not necessarily a very interesting place because his arena of action are the games of the future. But if he gets a commission there, he will of course go there. And if he does, he must be uh, careful. Because if you are a game that not from Low City, then you may be cheated, you may be robbed, and the goods that are offered to you may not be of a very good quality, they may be fake. Game Deck is not an open world game. Locations are pretty concise, but the density of interaction is pretty high. There are a lot of characters, a lot of objects that you can interact with, get more information uh, and help you in the actual case that usually takes place in a virtual world. One of the biggest challenges of Game Deck is how we will sell the vision, the R vision for Cyberpunk, because every pen and paper RPG fan or every movie fan, people who watch, for example, Blade Runner, they have their vision and, and their perception of how Low City and Cyberpunk should look like. I think that the construction and the view of Low City is a logical consequence of the fact how uh, Warsaw City was constructed. In general, Warsaw City is a set of towers connected by a net of air pavements. There are a couple of characteristic things that we wanted to include in, in Low City. Obviously, the location is raining, right? We have our cars that are flying by, uh, that you have the feeling of the depth of the city. You have ambient sounds that warn you about uh, the dangers in there. So there is a lot of stuff that we try to put in, even on a small location, that give it its unique flavor. The hallmarks of uh, low cities are nightclubs. Because it is constantly dark over there, it is always the night. So it's a perfect place for such premises. There are also gangs there. Well, they are not necessarily very dangerous people, especially if you don't get into their way. They go down to the undercity, to the ruins of Old Warsaw, and plunder the ruins. They search for paper things, for books, for artifacts from before the information era. When we create a scene in Game Deck, and it doesn't matter if it's a virtual game or is it low city, we try to set it up in a way like a pen and paper game master would set it up. So here's the world. Here what the cases, here are the characters. What would you do? As far as I remember, there were two inspirations. The first was the computer game Project Eden. It was about four agents of a certain organization that had to descend deeper and deeper into the city that seemed to have no bottom. And uh, the second inspiration was the movie The Fifth Element. And uh, it also seemed to me that you couldn't see the bottom of this uh, gargantuan city. So I like the visions of cities where you cannot see the ground. A lot of RPGs strive to have meaningful choices, to, to create an environment in which you have this illusion of freedom. Um, in Game Deck, we really try to go by the line that you're the sum of your choices meaning that your choices not only have a meaningful impact on the environment, but also on who you are, on, on your character building.